Ever wondered what happened to carbon? It's dead. Lava? Dead. Spice? Again, dead. Micromax? Okay, not dead yet, but you know, well on its way. So, what happened to these Indian smartphone brands? Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech and let's talk about that in today's video. If you do end up liking this video, please don't forget to turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Outside of the four that I mentioned, do you know any other Indian smartphone brand? Let me know in the comments down below. No cheating, go on, leave a comment, let's see who gets the most number of brands. Do not read other people's comments, just, just put in your own comment. Okay, so to better understand why all these Indian smartphone brands are in such a sorry state, we first need to go back a little in time and find out how they came into power in the first place. Way back in 2012, Micromax created a huge storm in the budget phone scene by launching the Dual Core Canvas 2 at just 9,900 rupees. This was absolutely unheard of. I mean, you gotta realize this was a time where we had the Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro as a high-end chip. From there, Micromax just scaled new heights as their phones kept coming up with impressive specs for budget prices and they just kept flying off the shelves. People couldn't have enough of these cheap and powerful smartphones and other companies like Lava, Zolo, Carbon and others joined in as well. In fact, we had quite a few innovative products come out in the Indian scene. Like the Zolo Play that was powered by the flagship Nvidia Tegra 3 chip but cost only 16,000 rupees. Now, at the height of their success, Micromax, according to some sources, had even managed to dethrone Samsung as the number one smartphone supplier in India. This was the glory days for these Indian smartphone players. Everywhere from banners and hoarding to ad spots on TVs would be dominated by companies like Micromax. And Carbon Kamal catch anybody. Do you remember that? Now, where did it all go wrong? Well, to be brutally honest, the Indian smartphone players were doomed from the day they began. And the main reason? They were smartphone traders, not manufacturers. All that Micromax Carbon, Lava and others did were go over to mainland China, buy a bucket load of devices from an ODM, put their own stickers on it and then sell it in India for a profit. They didn't plan for the future, which is why when these same Chinese players, when they decided to sell their smartphones in India directly, the fall of all Indian smartphone brands became nothing more than an inevitable eventuality. This fall, while maybe unavoidable, could have been slowed down, but the Indian players missed three key opportunities. Number one, they let Xiaomi and other Chinese players like Lenovo dominate the online smartphone market in India just when it started. Xiaomi is currently the biggest smartphone manufacturer in India and they started by introducing the online-only flash sales model. Phones like the Redmi 1S and the Redmi Note along with the Mi 3 sold like hotcakes and Micromax and other Indian brands didn't pay much attention to them. A fatal mistake that they realized way too late, one they tried to combat with launches like the U Euphoria and the U1, well, they were a disaster. The old tactic of rebranding Chinese phones to sell as their own wasn't gonna work any longer as it was just too time consuming a process and Xiaomi along with Vivo and Oppo already had newer models with better specs by the time the Indian brands managed to catch up with the last release cycle. Number 2. The advent of Jio Now a lot of you might think that Jio and their 4G services have only shaken up the telecom industry but that's not true. They've also had a profound effect on the smartphone industry. Companies like Micromax and Carbon were still pushing 3G-powered devices on the offline markets when the Geo fever suddenly took over all of India. And just like that, people were looking to choose 4G devices. The Chinese brands capitalized by flooding both offline and online markets with cheap 4G-powered smartphones. The final nail in the coffin for many Indian brands has been the Made in India scheme. Many companies like Xiaomi have set up gigantic factories in India itself and that means they can now import parts and manufacture the finished smartphone in India. This saves them a lot of money in taxes, import duties and shipping costs. Now Micromax and other Indian companies had the same opportunity as well, but they never really spent any amount of money in R&D, which meant they couldn't take advantage of these new rules. In fact, all the money they've spent, you know, that's been on advertising and even that has proven to be ineffective as Oppo and Vivo with their selfie focused lineup of phones, they were able to outspend these brands and they've been able to capture that demographic. In the end, the Indian brands had nothing left. They didn't have the deep pockets to compete with companies like Oppo and Vivo in the offline segments. They didn't have the R&D of agile startups like Xiaomi, 
which meant they basically faded into oblivion. And right now, if you look at the IDC list for top Indian smartphone brands, none of these companies are anywhere to be found in the top 10. Instead, we have the likes of Oppo and Vivo making up the ranks along with Xiaomi and Samsung. Now, is there a path back for these companies? Well, unfortunately, I don't think so. Unless these brands do a 180 degree turn in their business models, I don't see any chance of them being able to compete with their Chinese counterparts. And even if they begin to heavily invest into R&D right now, it would be years before they can catch up to their Chinese counterparts. As China is a region where patents are not really enforced, which means once a new discovery is made, every company makes rapid revisions on a project leading to a much more rapid developmental cycle than what can be observed anywhere else in the world. Anyway, the Chinese smartphone scene is another story, maybe another video some other day. But for now, this is what happened to these brands. And with that, we come to the end of this video. So do let me know if you found it interesting. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Also, do you guys think Indian brands like Micromax, Lava, Carbon and others can make a comeback? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And now it is time I bid you adieu. Please share this video with friends and family if you can. Check out our monthly giveaway if you haven't yet. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on what you felt about this video. Subscribe and turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. Do not miss out on any of our future content. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name is Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech. And I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.